So to, to find the range of this function, we're going to find the domain of the inverse of that function. Find the range of this function, f of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x. Okay, so to find the range of this function, we first of all have to replace f of x with y. That means in place of f of x, we just write y there. That gives us y equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x. And now what we have to do is to interchange x and y and then make y subject to formula after interchanging. So we interchange x and y, that is in place of y, we're going to put x, right? That is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus y. That is by interchanging x and y, just their positions. Good. So our work here is now to make y subject of formula. And this new y will be called the inverse of this function. Great. All right. Now to make y subject of formula, I'll say let's go ahead and square both sides. That gives us x squared equals 1 over. So when we square this square root, okay, we have get, gotten rid of the square root. So we now have just 1 minus y in the denominator. Good. And now we have to um, make y subject of formula. That will be by taking the reciprocal of both sides at first. So we're going to have um, 1 over. So by reciprocal, you take 1 over x squared to be equal to 1 minus y. Great. And then we would um, multiply both sides by negative 1 and then add 1 to both sides. So this will give us multiply both sides by negative 1. That tells us that y okay, um, minus 1 is negative 1 over x squared. So I multiply this with negative 1. That gave me this side. And then multiply this with negative 1 also. That gives me this. Good. And then we add 1 to both sides. That means that y will be um, adding 1 to both sides, 1 minus 1 over x squared. So this new y is called the inverse of the given function. So the inverse of this function, that's f inverse of x, will be 1 minus 1 over x squared. Great. That is the inverse. And our work was to find the domain or oh, sorry, the range of this function. So to find the range of this function, we're going to find the domain of the inverse of that function. So the domain of the inverse, of this inverse, will be all real numbers except zero, since we've got a rational term here, right? So this will be undefined if that denominator is equal to zero. That means x squared should not be zero, right? x squared should not be equal to zero. Now, the square of a number gives you zero. It means that that number must have been zero. Great. So we say that x squared should not be zero. This tells us that x on its own should not be zero. And from there, um, we mean that the, the range of the function f of x is going to be all real numbers except zero. All right? It's going to be a set that contains all real numbers x such that x is not zero. So what that tells us is that um, the output of this function, right, the set of output of this function can be every other thing except zero. Good. Great. So don't be confused between the range and the domain of function. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.